Hello, my name is Robert Pound and I am a Quest technologist. SQL Recall, Automation, Code Libraries, these are just a few of the Toad features that enhance productivity. In this video we will cover the basics of automation. It is assumed for this video that you have the SQL Server Management Studio plugin installed, you have a database connection established in either SQL Server Management Studio or in Toad, and you have a SQL statement that you want to automate. In part one we opened an automation tab created a simple script. Now we will test and schedule that script. If you have not already done so, please open up your automation script. We will start by simply choosing run in the toolbar to execute the script. In the log window, if there were any errors, they would show up here. But we can see that it's run successfully because we have the done message. And we have executed the SQL and exported the data into the CSV file. We can click on this link to actually open the file and we can see our comma separated value file with the data. Uh, we have some null fields and that's because something's missing in this file and I've exported more rows than I expected so let me go ahead and move over to the demo file real quick and yep I have forgotten the where clause so let me go ahead and add that right now and we're gonna go ahead and set this to filter for black and I will save and let's go ahead and switch back to the automation and run it again and since the file is linked everything should run correctly and yes we've only imported 93 rows now and that looks more like what I was after now that we are satisfied that our script is running properly we can schedule it by coming to the top and choose Schedule Automation Script. A new tab will be open for the Job Manager, and we are presented with a Details window for the actual automation script itself. We can add in some comments about what the job actually contains, so that way three months from now we still understand uh, what it is the script is supposed to be doing. And we can set the password. If we don't, it will be prompted uh, once we click OK, I'm going to go ahead and enter it in and confirm it now. And moving to the actual schedule, we wanted to schedule this weekly. Uh, you have several options, but again, for this, the purposes of this demo, we're going to go ahead and schedule it for Wednesday. And 2.35 looks like a good time to me. And in the settings tab, you have some more uh, refinement as far as uh, running it during idle time, power management features, etc. But I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now in the job manager we can see the scheduled automation for this given server and you can see the server names here and a little bit of status about uh, the schedule itself, uh, last successful run, run date, etc. Uh, and in the calendar mode we can switch between days, work weeks, months, etc and you can hover over any of the automation tasks and get some details about uh, what that script is as well. And double clicking on them will bring the detail pane back up. We can also switch over to agent jobs running on a given server. So as you can see, there are several connections here. I'm going to connect to the same server. So you can see there are some backup jobs running or scheduled to run on this server as well. Uh, and you can switch back to list mode to see the list of, of agent jobs as well. And to get to this tab itself uh, from Toad, if you're working in Toad, you can come to Tools, Administer, and Job Manager. You can also get to it from the Management Studio itself. So from the Management Studio, if I right click and choose Toad Manage, it is also here, Job Manager. I hope this video helped you get started with automation. For more information on this product, visit www.quest.com forward slash products forward slash toad for SQL Server. Or you can check out the community driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com. Thank you and have a great day.